Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another speed build. This is a speed build of what I'm calling Ike Park. Uh, forgive me my pronunciation is wrong, but I believe that Ike is Japanese for pond, um, which is the name I chose because there is a little pond in this park. Um, and if any of you guys here are new because I recently got a lot of new subscribers from a TikTok I made, uh, welcome, thank you for subscribing. Um, I'll be posting more TikTok videos in the future. Um, but this is what I do, I do speed builds. Anyways, um, I am doing a park, which means that I'm stressed, <laughs> if you guys didn't know that. I usually build parks when I'm stressed out because, I don't know, something about like working with nature and like plants and placing things, it just makes me a lot more relaxed. Um, so I just find, you know, myself doing a lot more parks when I'm overwhelmed or dealing with stressful things. Um, nothing bad's going on in my life. I just am starting my interior design classes and it's just, I'm getting back into, you know, the schedule of school and stuff and it's just, you know, a little bit stressful, but I am enjoying it so far. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, this is a very cute park. I built. Um, it is in the um, Japanese inspired world, so it's supposed to take place in Japan. That's why it has a Japanese name. Um, and I think it's absolutely stunning. I think it's so freaking cute. It's got so like a central like park area and a little pond, and then it's got like a little community garden area, and then it has like a little uh, park, um, or not park, a little uh, playground for, you know, kids and people to play on and you know, it's just kind of like a really nice community space, I feel like. And I had a lot of fun building this one, you know, because it de-stresses me. Anyways, as you can see, I'm trying to choose, you know, some... I'm, right now, I'm just trying to figure out, like, how I'm going to do, like, an entryway. Like, like, you know, it's very difficult to do that with parks because they're very nature-based, but you also have to kind of enclose them on the lot and figure out how people will, like, enter and exit and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, the flow of traffic, I find very difficult to work with with parks sometimes. Um, but I do feel like I worked out a good way for that to work in this park, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Right now I'm putting together the little pond, which is what the park is named after. I think this pond is so cute. I love that tree that hangs over that pond. It came with the snowy escape pack. I absolutely adore that tree. I use that tree whenever I'm doing like very special, very aesthetic builds because I find the tree itself so unique. Like look at, look at the detail of those leaves, how sharp and pointy and how many there are. It's like it's such a beautiful tree. Bravo on that tree, EA. Thank you for that tree. Um, but this is the little pond. It's so cute. Um, it's not a functional pond in the sense of like Sims could, you know, fish or anything like that. Um, it's, a, it's a swimming pool. But you guys know, I always use swimming pools as ponds because when you build like the fountain ones, like if you use the fountain tool, um, you can't like change the color of the water, which usually bothers me because like depending on where the pond is located, you might want to change the color of the water. For example, in this particular location, it made sense for the pond to be like this murky um, greenish color because it's like a, a natural pond, right? Um, so with swimming pools, that's the only way that you can actually change the color of the water. So it's a swimming pool. So Sims could come here and like swim in the pond, which would probably be a little bit weird, but they can. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I do use this little bathroom um, here because I figured, you know, um, if it's like a community space, it makes sense for them to have a bathroom. I was trying to use a lot of like natural, like materials and natural looking things. For example, I'm using these bamboo fences. I didn't want the pond or I didn't want the park to look super, what's the word? Like super commercial, if that makes sense. I wanted it to look like something that the community itself actually built, like in this area, like the people came together and built this park for themselves. Um, so I like the idea of these like bamboo fences and I like the idea of you know, all these mossy rocks and making it seem very natural and very, you know, um, you know, put together by actual people and not, you know, machines and bulldozers and stuff. Um, but I'm putting in this line of garden box beds. I don't know what you call these. Garden beds? Flower flower beds, right? Um, and then I'm going to put in these very, very pretty custom content flowers I have. I love custom content plants, but they're always really hard for me to find, um, specifically ones that aren't too alpha looking. You know, like, I, I like these ones. They're pretty alpha looking, but they're not, like, too much. Like, they still work for me, those flowers over there. And I think they actually work pretty well with the surrounding environment. But let me know if you guys have any uh, plant or flower custom content that you love. Please link it for me because I just need more plants. Um, especially plants that are in, like, collective color palettes. You know, like, plants that are all the same shade of green um, or have, like, all the same kind of flowers on them. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Because I'm so crazy about color palette and you know when it comes to plants and doing like outdoor landscapes it it just 
brings out the worst of me because like if the shade of green on specific plants does not match or is not in the same color palette, I will lose my shit. So let me know if you guys have suggestions for any sort of like plant packs that you guys have found. This is coming together. It looks so beautiful. I would love to walk through this and just be in nature right now, you know? Like I kind of live in a city urban area, so like I'm not, I don't have access to like this beautiful lush foresty feel. I really, I really desire it. I really desire to like sit by a, a, a quiet pond with like, like fish in it. I can watch like the koi fish under the surface and like read a book or something. Well, I probably wouldn't read. I'd probably be on my phone. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into reading. I just, I just, my attention span has been so corrupted by technology that I really can't, but I'm trying. So let me know if you have any book recommendations. And you guys have given me book recommendations and I do appreciate that. Um, but anyways, as you can see, I'm splitting up this park. So in this front area, this is where we're gonna have our community garden and then this larger back area, that's where the uh, playground is gonna be. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how this whole, again, the flow of traffic, how all these uh, entryways are going to work. What I do is I use this like bar metal archway and then I put the um, hedge archway underneath it. So it kind of looks like someone grew this hedge on the bars. You know how that's done, you know, how people like grow plants on sticks and stuff. You know, I think that's a thing, right? <laughs> that was the idea with this is that the hedge is like grown on the metal, you know, like by the, the gardeners and stuff. So that was the idea. Um, but as you can see, my color palette is very lush and green, but I like to bring in some of these like pinks and purples um, with like those lavender bushes and this big, beautiful cherry tree in the back. Um, that, that pink tree is from, uh, I think it's a base game tree, I believe. It's not from the Snowy Escape Pack, so that might not actually be a cherry blossom. It might just be like a random pink tree. Or are all pink trees cherry blossoms? I don't know. I'm not a botanist. If you guys know <laughs> things about pink trees and cherry blossoms, please let me know, because it's a fascinating topic. Um, but as you can see, I'm putting together the entry over here. This is our little uh, community garden space. So someone's growing some lavender, they're growing, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Cabbage, I guess. Um, I always use this particular cabbage patch because the game, or I think it's base game, I believe it's base game. Um, it comes with two uh, garden patches, the cabbages and then like a different cabbage that's like a lot uh, more bluey green. And I always use this one usually because it's more in my color palette of greens. Um, the bluey green was too blue for me, but <laughs> anyways. Putting in some little stools so I guess you can sit on the stool and watch your plants grow. <laughs> and then over here we're gonna have like a little uh, garden patch of more lavender bushes which are totally beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. I I love a lot of these plants that came with the base game. I think they're they're really beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm putting together the um, playground now. So the idea for this was just, you know, another space where people could... Um, so like if the parents were in the community garden, the kids could go play the playground. You know, like the whole space is supposed to function as like a whole. Um, as you can see, I hung two swings from the tree, which I thought was really cute. Because I wanted a swing set, but I don't like the aesthetic of the swing sets that I actually have. Um, so I decided to hang those swings from the tree itself and it actually works out really well. Like the height was right, it looks perfect, it's totally beautiful. I would love to sit on a swing underneath a cherry tree and, you know, write poetry and listen to the birds and <laughs> pretend that I'm that kind of person. <laughs> That'd be so nice. But we are almost about done here. I'm just adding in a few bamboo stalks back here just for like some added shade and privacy. It's like a disconnection from the road in the back because I didn't want, you know, the loud traffic to distract from the little kids playing. But yeah, here is the park. Please let me know what you think of this. Um, whenever I do parks, I'm stressed out, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> um, but I think this this park is absolutely stunning. I had a lot of fun doing it, especially like picking out all the lush plants, and it really made me miss being in an environment that has, you know, plants and flowers everywhere. I don't know. I've, I've said this before, my dream home has like a beautiful garden in it. Like my dream home is probably like a brownstone townhouse in a city somewhere and the rooftop is just like a beautiful garden that I grew. That's my dream. It will probably never come true, but I like to dream about it. Um, and it probably looks something like this with all the, the bamboo and the beautiful flowers and the cherry tree. Oh my goodness, that would be so amazing. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what's up with you guys. What's going on in your lives? How you're doing? Yeah. And if you're new here, welcome to Kiarko. This is the kind of stuff I make. Anyways, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.